I hope you've all had just a fantastic summer. I know I had one. So I have a brand new project today that I'm anxious to show you. Um, it's painting a night sky on black. Now I've been asked if I could start some from scratch, start, you know, start from the very beginning for, um, I've been asked by a couple of people. And so I thought today that's what I do. So the first step in painting a night canvas is to make the canvas black or, um, well, in this case, yes, black. Uh, what I'm gonna use is just a plain old foam brush. So first thing you wanna do is give it a shake because the, the, the pigment does tend to settle to the bottom. So when you do this, make sure you tap so that this doesn't shoot out the top when you open it, and, which it may do anyway, but let's, let's hope not. <laughs> okay, so um, from there, I'm just going to apply a little gesso right on the top here. I may, may need a little more, maybe not as much, I don't know. Close that very tight, put it upside down again. And with the foam brush, all I do is just take and spread it around. And usually, almost always, uh, I do two coats. I'm only going to do one coat tonight, but this is just to give you an idea. And um, I'm doing this on a very small canvas tonight because just for the, just for the sake of time. And um, I love this little gadget here. Okay, so all you do is just go ahead and make a nice thin layer. Go to your, if you're doing edges, go ahead and paint those edges. And the foam brush works really great. Now, if you're doing a great big canvas, say like an 18 by 24 or even a 16 by 20 or larger, uh, you want to be sure to um, use a larger brush, either a foam brush or you can use a, um, you know, just a regular paint brush. Just make sure you get a nice even coat all the way around. And that's, as, that's all there is to doing a black gesso canvas. And just make sure it's not oil paint, make sure it's gesso. Gesso dries very fast. Just once over the top, just smooth it out. And that's as easy as it gets. Okay, that's step one. Oh, and I was gonna tell you also, when you, um, I s just set this in my jar because that's, that's, uh, that makes it handy. Take this and the brush, when you've got this, um, the gesso in it, Fold up a paper towel, blot out as much as you can of that paint, and you'll get quite a bit out of there. And it will be messy, but that's okay. You wanna get as much of the paint out as you can. Then, just simply dip it in water. The brush will saturate and pick up paint Stick it in a baggie, label it black gesso, seal it, and then this is my water can. I don't know if you can see the inside of this, but um, it's got dried, uh, dried paint. That when the water evaporates and then all that sediment lays in the bottom and it just dries hard and then you can just throw that sediment out. You never want to throw this down the sink because uh, that sediment will clog up your drain. It gets in that little U joint, you know, that joint that goes like a U. Um, it will clog up your drain, so never throw that down the drain. Anyway, just set that aside and um, then that's ready to go for the next time. You just blot it dry you're all ready to do another canvas. And it's really good to do a whole bunch of canvases at one time if you can. Uh, saves a lot of time and a lot of paint and a lot of everything. Oh, just one quick thing before I get started. I wanted to mention that um, on a large canvas, you might also want to use these small rollers. They work fantastic. Uh, make the job really fast and it may, it's very easy to use. Just little, little teeny rollers. Now I wanted to show you this chart because um, this just shows you different colors that you can use for a night sky. And um, this is a lot of fun. You don't always have to use just one color. 
So like here I have Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, uh, made of purple. Uh, it should be more of a purple, but it didn't turn out that way. Uh, sap green, Van Dyke brown, and Indian yellow. And uh, it's fun to play around. You can do a monotone painting, a monotone meaning all one color. And um, that's a lot of fun. So you might try experimenting with that and do, you just make, make a painting in different colors. Okay, let's start having a little fun. First thing I want to do is take my um, oil medium and uh, just a little bit on a paper towel or a cloth if you would prefer. It does not take very much. And now this is an old canvas. I use this canvas for practice a lot and then I just scrape it off and start over again. So <clears throat> that's why you see it's not perfectly clear. It also becomes very smooth because I've used it so much. But <clears throat> I like working on a smooth canvas. A lot of people love a rough canvas, but not me. I love it smooth. So these marks in here just are not important. So anyway, okay, we have applied the oil base. Now the first thing I want to do after that's applied is I want to take and put on my choice of colors today is going to be um, Prussian blue and sap green. Um, I'm going to start right here and I just want to start putting this on and you will not be able to see this. It's, it's like invisible but when you put the white on that's when it really shows and starts to look very interesting. And I'm just applying this pretty much all over. This is just Prussian blue. Just get it on any way you can. The smoother your canvas, the longer your brushes are going to last. And to that, I'm just going to take a little bit of sap green and just kind of smoosh it here a little bit in the lower part over the, over the blue. I don't want a tremendous amount of green, but a little bit. Okay, and that's all there is to that part. So the next thing I want to do is just have a very light um, sky color, uh, kind of a haze in the background. And to do that, I'm going to use my fan brush and titanium white. And I'm just going to load both sides of the brush, like so, and just crisscross it on. It does not have to be perfect. We're not looking for perfect. And think Think about maybe where you might like a moon. I would like it maybe right there. So I'm going to make that part a little bit brighter. That's all you do with that. Put that brush aside. And the next thing I want to do is just take my one inch brush and I'm just going to start crisscrossing on the outer edge first. And you see this begins to look hazy. Because you know oftentimes, or most of the time, you will see a, a bit of a haze around this, um, the moon. Now remember, you're not relegated to just blue. I, there are so many beautiful colors out there. Okay, so that looks fair. Set that brush aside. Now, the almighty finger. <laughs> okay, just take and put some on your finger. Find your moon, put it wherever you want it. And I've got this on, I'd say, probably 
fairly thick. And when you're done with that, just take your knife. And if you see a lot of paint on there, I mean lightly, very lightly, just scrape it. That will get any excess paint off so it does not smear so bad. Now that um, the one inch brush that I have taken and put the blue, you know, put the white all around, I'm just wiping this off. And now again, I'm just going to lightly, very lightly go in and touch up my moon. Just go across it a little bit. That just kind of, kind of fuzzes it out a little bit. Okay. The next step, again, I'm going to wipe off my brush because I've got a lot of blue on here. Now I want to go back to a white color. So I'm just wiping off the tips just to get the blue gone and go back to the white oh you know what i want to change i want to use the filbert this time sometimes i use a filbert for the sky and sometimes i use a, a fan brush but today i want to use a filbert i kind of like the way it turns out okay so just pick a spot i'm going to start here i want this fairly white when i'm up close to the moon here Load again. And I'm when you see me go away for a second, I'm just wiping the tips of my brush. How about way out here? As it gets further away from the moon, you'll notice that it gets darker, and that's what you want. Wiping the brush, the tips of the brush. Going to load a little more white. Uh, maybe something over here. I want more white up close to the moon here. Fuzzing out the bottom somewhat. Good. And a um, couple of streaks across the top. That's always kind of interesting. There. Okay, now it's <clears throat> Excuse me. Going back to the one inch brush, I'm just wiping it off any of the blue color that I can get off. I don't clean my brushes after every single use. Um, starting at the bottom here. Notice that I'm just using, I start with the just the tips of the brush here. I'm holding my handle towards the back. I'm fuzzing out the bottom. Okay, wipe the brush. And over to the other side. And wipe the brush a little bit. Starting at the top here, just go across. That just sort of sets that in the sky. And then here, come up. And I'm, this is extremely light. If you, if you could just barely touch, that's all I'm doing. Kind of a, a big circles. I go both ways. Ex again, like I say, extremely light. Then wipe the brush. 
and just gently, gently, gently come across. As I get towards the bottom edge here, I'm pressing just a little bit harder because I want to really set that in the sky. I think I keep bumping into my microphone or my uh, com uh, my camera. I don't mean to, but I do every once in a while. Okay, the next step I want to do is take my knife, and I've see I've already got a little blue in this white. That's just wonderful. I, I like that. So pull that down. This just say you wanted a little water in here. Grab a roll of paint down and across, that gives you a nice roll. And imaginary line. And just underneath the moon here, just go ahead and just put a few little squigglies in here. This is not going to be a finished painting by any means. This is, <clears throat> wipe the knife off. This is just uh, just for fun, just for something to do. You, If you didn't want to do seascapes, you could put mountains in here. Um, oh gosh, you could make a great winter scene. And here I'm just dabbing, just tapping a little bit here and there. You know, the water and the ocean is that way. It's kind of like little waves. There are so many of you people that have been corresponding with me and I have just loved it. It's been so much fun. So with back to the, that one inch brush, I'm just going to come across, all the way across. And by golly, if that doesn't look like water. <laughs> if I had more tooth on this canvas, it would even be better. Now wasn't that a fun project? I love painting a, on a, um, a black canvas because it's just there's so many things you can do with it. So anyway, have fun with this. Try it out. Leave me a comment if you'd like. And uh, if you like the video, be sure and subscribe. Okay, we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.